You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Weird Science Comics YouTube channel. I'm Jim, and I'm going to ask a question here. Do you think that DC Comics and Dan Jurgens just might be setting up a way to de-age John Kent? And really, if you think about the whole Brian Michael Bendis debacle, the biggest affront that he did at DC and a bunch of really bad things that he ended up doing was aging up John Kent. I think that we might all be able to agree on that. And while one of the other things that he did was kind of nonsensical was the identity reveal that got fixed. But old John Kent, and I mean old John Kent, he didn't get de-aged. And I've gone on record as saying that I didn't think that he ever would be de-aged. That is DC then having to admit they were wrong. They don't like doing that. And I think they might be afraid of a backlash because of his sexuality and things like that. But we're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is that this week, and really today, while I was recording the podcast with my man, Eric Shea, our DC Comics podcast, that you should maybe check out the Weird Science DC Comics podcast. We were talking about this week's Action Comics, and he brought up something that did intrigue me. And then while I was editing the podcast, it was intriguing me more. I was thinking about it, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to throw this out there and see what everybody thinks. Because in this week's issue of Action Comics, Dan Jurgens, who did create John Kent, continued a story where the 10 year old John, he's trying to help out Princess Gliana. And the issue opens up, continuing from the last issue's cliffhanger, where John ends up getting his arms and hands severely burned. He does save the princess from the wreckage, but he is hurt, which is a really good moment, just as an aside, to show you that young John can be hurt, but he fights through that he's a real hero risks life and limb to save his new friend. But what I'm here to talk about is that Gliana then explains her powers. She ends up saying to John, remember when I was trying to destroy my ship's tracking system? I did it by speeding up its process of decay, almost like pushing it ahead in time. Okay, and we did see that last issue. But then she continues and says, in truth, I can manipulate the process both ways. I can take your damaged hands along with the pain back to where they were before and heal you. And if you end up thinking about that and what that could mean, that really seems like she could end up like Cher turning back time on John and him and de-age him. And I think that there is something to that. Now, with this, it obviously couldn't happen in the book that Dan Jurgens is writing now because John is young then. But the thing is, maybe, just maybe, it could happen in the present day. Now, there is a couple hurdles to this. Mainly, Bayana kind of seems real sus. By the end of this issue, she seems more like a villain, and she does kidnap John to try to get the attention and to be able to manipulate Superman, Cal L. But just maybe, just maybe this could be a little misunderstanding. And by the end, because she does want help, maybe they end up helping her. And maybe she kind of owes John a little solid, comes back later and is able to de age him. Because I really do think the way that she explains the power set, it really feels like it's something she might be able to do. So we might have a little smidgen of hope in that whole play. And I said, I didn't think they would ever de-age John. But the more I thought about it, like, why did Dan Jurgens, the creator of the character, come up with this other character that can do something like this and really setting up a scene to really spell out that power and it kind of seems to fit a little bit together. Now, all that said and done, the Tom Taylor Adventures of Superman John Kent book, that goes on and it will continue while Night Terrors with a K ends up going. So the book will go through the summer. It does end in August, right? 
And so then I started thinking, okay, if they were going to do this, it would obviously be after that series. But boy, with a lot of things coming out in September, I think that it really could get people excited, people getting their eyes on the books and really a lot of hype if they ended up telling everybody, listen, we're going to de-age John in September, October, whatever. And I think that right now, they may be just desperate enough. If they weren't going to do this before, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I think that DC is at a bit of a, a problem right now where they're not getting a lot of hype behind the books. There's not a lot of talk about the dawn of DC. And even if there is, it's a lot of negative stuff and even negative stuff mainly on that night terrace. I mean, this is why I think they have Tom King on the Wonder Woman book. Whether it's positive, negative hype and talk, they need talk. They need to have people get at least excited enough to start a buzz about the books. And I really do think that the aging John would be one of those things that would create a buzz. And I really do think of all the things that DC could do. That is one of the things that I think could get people back reading. I think there might be some people who haven't read DC in a while. If they found out that, oh my God, John Kent de-aged, I'm going to go read that book and maybe even take that as a, well, they're admitting they're wrong. Maybe this is a new way of thinking. All right, I'm in. I really do think it could be that now. Again, if I gave a percentage a chance of what I think this is, and I still am only at like 15%, 10, 15, but before this week, I was at like two. So, you know, fingers crossed. I, I do think that this is the most promising thing that has happened so far for anybody who wants to have the de-aging of John Kent. And I'd love to hear what you all think. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, enable the notifications. And again, this is no inside info. This is just kind of a off-the-cuff kind of deal that it's just been sticking with me after... We talked about it on the podcast tonight. And then I was editing the podcast, listening again. I'm like, you know, this is something that I really want to make a video so I can, you know, have everybody tell me what they think is mainly the deal. But there you go. Let me know what you think. And again, fingers crossed. And the whole play is, you know, it could be wishful thinking, but a man can dream, right? A man can dream. But we'll see. Thanks, everybody. And I'll talk to you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.